Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be having a quick review, having a quick look at a power supply. The power supply in question is the Cooler Master G750M. It is a bronze rated power supply, so 80 plus efficiency. It comes 750 watt, it also has some other variants in the 550, 500 watt range. As you can see, it is semi-modular, which is very good. And this power supply comes in at about 120 to 130 Australian dollars, which is very good for a 750 watt semi-modular power supply. But Corsair has made um, quite a few products that have been very uh, faulty, I guess you could say, and cheap. So we're going to have a look at this one and see if this one is like those other products. So the first thing we'll start off with is the cables. So we've got the main cables here. we got two, no, sorry, yeah, two six-pin um, or eight-pin uh, PCIe connectors for graphics cards. And then we've got an identical cable with the same thing, two six-pin or eight-pin connectors. We've also got our eight-pin CPU connector which will deliver enough power for major overclocks and then we've got our main connector, the 24 pin uh, motherboard connector. All of these cables are sleeved which is good nice black sleeving, the usual thing for most power supplies um, as you can see nothing overly special about it, just the usual uh, black connectors with the cables and everything over here we got the little ports for the modular cables. So the modular cables, um, you get two, as you can see there, there are four things here, so you get two sets of cables. Each cable has four MOLEX connectors and then the same thing with the SATA cables. Each SATA um, power cable includes um, four of the uh, SATA cables, so you have eight in total. So you have eight Molex connectors, eight SATA cables in total, um, SATA connectors, sorry. So that gives you a wide, a, quite a wide range um, of upgrade options and parts that you can have. You can have multiple hard drives, multiple fans, LED strips, whatever you want to, and you can plug them all in here very easily. We've got a 120mm fan down the bottom to cool the power supply got a nice looking grill over the top, we've got the Cooler Master logo which looks quite nice although you probably won't see it depending on how you mount this we have a look at the back, we've got our power switch we've got our power connector we can see inside all the things inside, I won't be taking it apart because I don't really want to kill myself um, we've got the logo on the side so whichever way you mount it, whether you mount it like that or like that, Cooler Master have made sure that you see their logo and the writing on the side. So everyone that sees your computer knows you have a Cooler Master power supply. So I've got one installed in the computer here. Let's go have a look and see what it looks like installed. As you can see, as we saw from before, it has quite a nice look to it once it's installed in an actual computer case. We've got the cables coming out here, going to the back. They are very easy to cable manage thanks to the nature of the modular cables which are nice and flat so it means you can push them behind the motherboard tray um, and hide them away from view with ease currently got them to running two hard drives, graphics card, usual system and it's handling very well we could actually add another graphics card if we wanted to because it's got these four PCIe power connectors it means that we could actually run pretty much any dual GPU um, system whether it be Crossfire or SLI with the exception of some of the older cards like GTX 580s or 6990s in Crossfire um, which because they're older cards don't have very good power consumption economy um, you probably couldn't use this to run triple or quad Crossfire setups or SLI setups but really it just depends on what card you're wanting to use in terms of the noise that comes off here um, computer probably sounds, uh, you probably won't be able to tell, but because I've got the graphics card and the hard drive and everything, and the CPU cooler, 
It's a bit louder, but believe me, without those things, this power supply is very, very quiet. You can actually hardly hear it above any of the other components. And it's got quite good airflow sucking in air from the bottom um, to cool the rest of the power supply. So yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty beefy power supply for its price. 750 watts, semi-modular, can handle pretty much any system out there. I've got one in my system. My friend's systems that I've done as well has also got one. And believe me, they perform very, very well. So I would definitely recommend them. For anyone going with a budget system or mid-end mid system, it needs a bit more power than something like a 500 or 600 watt power supply. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.